Becky Williams with the Willow Group EXP Realty in downtown Eagleville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Today, I am interviewing Dennis Fioravanti with Red Cedar Farms in Chapel Hill. Hi, Dennis. Hi, how's it going? Going great. Thank you so much for doing this interview today. I'm excited to hear more about your business. Well, it's good to be here. Good to be here. Thank you. Start off by telling me a little bit about you and your family and what brought you to Chapel Hill. Well, um, the, the short story is uh, I, I grew up in Oklahoma, raised bison a long time, ended up moving several places out of the military and all over the country, ended up here in Tennessee about 10 plus years ago with my family and um, lived in Franklin for a period of time, but we bought this land out here in Chapel Hill in 2014 and uh, started Red Cedar Farms. We were doing uh, bison out here at one time for a number of years. And my business partner and I, his name is Brock Huey. We uh, transitioned from bison a few years ago and have been doing all kinds of uh, organic or certified organic farms. So we've done all, all kinds of organic uh, vegetables and fruits and things like that. Um, uh, and have been, you know, just, we moved from Franklin, like I say, about three years ago uh, and started living in, in, in uh, in Chapel Hill. And then uh, this past year um, or two years ago, we started doing all kinds of other things with the farm, just continuing to grow it, change, mutate over the years. We don't do bison anymore, although I do have two pets out here, um, bottle fed babies. So anybody can come and pet a bison if they want or feed them, bring some apples and tomatoes. They like that. Um, cool. but, uh, family is uh, busy. Their kids are all grown up, you know, um, just uh, me and my dog out here at the farm, along with my par business partner and his dog. So, very cool. So, so your farm has changed over the years. You did bison, you did hemp for a while. Now you're doing organic vegetables. Um, but you have some really big plans for what you envision Red Cedar Farms to be to our community and to the public. I know recently in the last year you've started adding festivals. Tell yes. us a little bit about some of your upcoming festivals. Yes, yes. We bought the land out here, like I say, in 2014. It was just dirt, overgrown fields. Um, there was nothing here, no power, water, buildings, fencing, nothing. So we put all that in over the last few years. And um, uh, farm store, um, like I say, we did grow hemp for a little while. We do some uh, types and then we, we uh, focus mostly on organic fruits and vegetables because the community wants that. And you're right, we... Um, about two years ago in October of last, we started doing festivals. We did a big pumpkin festival, corn maze kind of thing, and added a Christmas thing, and then added an Easter thing and a summer thing. And so we've got like seven or eight different festivals we do throughout the year. One's coming up in April, a big great Easter egg hunt at Red Cedar Farms. And then in May, we have our big strawberry festival. Um, and uh, so we started doing those a couple years ago. Communities love it. We've expanded. Um, all kinds of fun things going on. The store that we have out here um, ha has all kinds of things, gifts, food, unusual things. I say we don't raise bison anymore, but we do offer exotic meats like bison and elk and, and, and oh. other. So in our farm store. So a lot of unusual things out here. Not, not typically what you find in the grocery store. Um, and like I say, we start, like to stay with the clean food theme, you know, the organic or grass-fed finish, that kind of thing, so. And where is your store located and what are your hours if someone wanted to come out and check you out? Right, well, we're just off of Highway 99, 2041 Highway 99 um, in Chapel Hill, and um, we're open Monday through Friday, nine to four, but in May, we extend for summer hours. It, uh, we end up doing nine to five, uh, starting in May and also Saturdays um, from 10 to 3. So uh, six days a week, farm store is always open, something something going on. We're putting a whole kid play area just outside of the store so mom and mom or whoever can come and shop and they can grab something to eat while they're here and sit on the picnic tables and have the kids play around on the playground. So it's it's a fun place. Sounds amazing. I have grandchildren that I would love to bring out and check out your farm and, and I want to check out your unique store items. That sounds really cool. Yes. Yeah. All, all, as much as we can, we do local Tennessee. Um, you know, obviously 
bison and elk is not local to Tennessee and we're not raising them anymore. We were the only ones doing grass fed and finished. Um, so we have some good friends that we get that from now, but all the other stuff we have is all local Tennessee. We support local. We want it to uh, our local farmers. And um, But yeah, the events, you got to bring your grandkids out to the great Easter egg hunt. That's going to be fun. And of course, if I'm you want to use it. Yes. And you pick strawberries too. That's going to be a lot of fun. That will be fun. Yeah. So with all of this expansion and growth and events, I understand that you may have some room for some new hires. You're always looking for some dependable work, right? Yes, yes, yes. We're always looking for, you know, hard workers. Uh, farming, not easy work. Um, and not, not, you know, um, not for the faint of heart. Um, we, we start looking for people uh, during planting season, which is now also through harvest. Um, a couple, two or three good people uh, that we can bring on full time. And then, of course, um, there are periods of time when we bring on lots of part timers. We can have anywhere from 30 to 50 people out here for functions and events. We're always looking for good helpers to come out and, and help with our events. We pay, of course. Um, uh, but all of our festivals, we need anywhere from 20 to 50 people. I used to call them volunteers, but since I pay them, they're not really volunteers. So. <laughs> You can't pay them in strawberries? Yeah, I tried. I tried, you know, <laughs> all the strawberries and all the pumpkins you want. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, so you let me in on a little secret a minute ago about some big plans coming up in the future for Red Cedar Farms. Tell us what you have in mind. Well, um, here's some fun stuff. On the, on the farm fresh food side, we're putting in a commercial kitchen. It should be up and running in less than 30 days. And so our farm store will have all kinds of fresh meals daily, um, salads and wraps and sauces and salsas and jams and jellies, everything off the farm, made right in our, our farm uh, kitchen, um, daily meals where you can eat right here and now, or you can, we've got take and bake frozen as well, we'll do. So we'll do everything from, you know, fresh organic foods to even vegan options for folks that just have some dietary restrictions or want to make that choice. But beyond that, we have um, uh, an RV park we're putting in, campground and RV park. And we're working on it now. We're still in some development stages. We thought we'd be done, but um, you may not know this, the county and, um, uh, and other um, powers outside of our control, like um, surveyors and planners and all, we don't control that. So um, if you've tried to get a survey lately, it's six. It's, it's hard. They're it's very crazy. backlogged. Oh my gosh, they're so backlogged. So it took us six months to get a survey and they're still working on it. Uh, Our plan is still going through. We still got to go through. So there's a lot going on, but we'll have 30 to 40 RV spots. Uh, we have a big pond that's, go that's in and going in. We're working on it still and it's going to be a stock pond so you can uh, come out and fish. And then we're planning to put in between 15 to 20 little camper cabins, um, little fun, um, what we call rustic camping. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be a little campground, a little RV park, a nice farm store with all kinds of fresh meals, you know, a, a place to a place to fish. And, you know, it's a, it's a catch and release, but it's fun for kids to do. And, and then of course, festivals throughout the year. It's, it's going to be a fun place when we're done, but it takes time and we're uh, we're a uh, pay as you go kind of place, you know. Yes, so, yes, yeah. yes, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. So, it sounds like that's gonna be a really cool staycation place for our locals just to stay local but get away for a night and just come out and camp out at your at your farm. Yep, yep. Come see some animals, come, come feed the bison. Yes, go fishing, stay the night, do a campfire. Absolutely, have some I'll bison. Bison burgers. Yeah, I love it, Dennis. So what's the one thing that that so far your your customers or your visitors really love the most about coming out to your farm? What's the thing you hear most often? Well, it's kind of twofold. They love the uniqueness of our store. It's a really cute little rustic store and all the little unusual things you can find in there that you, you don't typically look for in a grocery store, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we're not trying to compete with grocery stores. They do what they do re real well, and, and we do what we do. Um, but most people just love to get out. It's a beautiful area. 
um, they can come out and, and, and if they want to go pick their own cabbage or whatever they want out of the field. I mean, it's fresh when our, when our, when our uh, products come in, you know, we don't, we don't import from, you know, other countries or other States. We, we grow everything that's right here in the store. So fresh and, and harvested that day. Uh, you can't get any better than that and organic. And then people love the festivals. I mean, we have nothing but um, great feedback from our festivals. Sometimes we did have a little incident last year with some, with some um, um, ants, you know, fire ants. It's odd. Oh, okay. This is really weird, but on a farm, we actually have fire ants. Um, and uh, so we just, we just mark them with flags and say, just, if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. But I don't know. Sometimes people want, don't want there to be bugs on a farm and we just, we like our bugs. So <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it's hard to control that on a farm. Uh, you know, we don't control ants or bees or anything like that. So when yeah. you come in, I'll just wear your, wear appropriate attire and just be ready to enjoy nature. Enjoy nature. That makes total sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dennis. Um, I, it was a pleasure meeting you. I really enjoyed this conversation today. I am going to drag my husband out to the farm this week and come meet you in person, check out your Great. store. And then your, your next festival is the Easter egg hunt, which will be on. Yes. The great okay. Easter egg hunt at Red Cedar Farms is April 16th. It's at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Tickets are online right now. Um, and then the one after that is the strawberry festival um, in May, May 14 and 15. Now these festivals have, a whole kid play zone, petting zoos, food vendors, craft vendors, music, some of live music, um, uh, carnival rides for the May one, just all kinds of things going on. That jam packed, of- jam packed. You won't jam-packed. be bored. Right. Yeah, you, you won't be bored at the Red Cedar Farms. I hope not, but if you are, <laughs> you know, we'll put you to work. So <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you again, Dennis. And what's your website if somebody wants to check you out online? Yes, um, um, the website is Red Cedar Farms TN, like Tennessee. So Red Cedar Farms TN.com, or our Facebook and Instagram is just Red Cedar Farms. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks again, Dennis. Fear yes. Vonte. Fear, fear <laughs> Vonte. Fear Vonte. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He told me just to say Smith, it's just easier. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks again. Thank I really appreciate it. Congratulations on your successful uh, venture out there in Chapel Hill. Thank you so much. Thank you.